Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and I just wanted to show you another simple uh, paracord knot today. I have to give credit to Chris at Prepared Mind 101 channel for this. If you don't subscribe to his channel, you probably should because he's got a lot of good stuff on there. I'll leave a link in the description. So, just wanted to share this with you. It was a new one when I saw it on his channel, it's a new one to me, so I wanted to share it. So, this is basically a, a sliding knot. You can see the, uh, the black cord here is running through the knot on the camel cord and the camel cord is free to slide up and down it. So um, the sky's the limit really with potential uses for this, just whatever your imagination comes up with. Really useful thing to know and as you can see that cord is securely attached to the black one but yet free to slide on it. So I'm going to show you how to make a, one of these. Um, if you lay out your cords so you have them side by side like that then you're going to want to take the cord that you want to make the knot in uh, that's the one that's going to slide on the other cord and you're going to want to fold it back. So in this case, I'm going to lay these down on the on the bench here just to make things a little bit easier. So we want to make the knot with the black cord, so we're going to bend that back on itself like so. So you have your cord you're sliding on and your two cords, well your two strands really there of the, the cord you're making the knot with. So you want to take the, the top strand here, you can see this is the one that's bent back, and you're going to want to pinch it down like that. So if I bring this up to the camera, this is what you have now. And you're going to want to take the top strand of that and bring it over the top towards you, like so. So you can see there. And you're just going to want to wrap that over the other two strands a couple of times. So keep wrapping that towards you over the top. Usually three or four times is good. I'm doing this very neatly this time, it's a little tricky on camera. So that is pretty much what you end up with. So it's been wrapped over the top towards you, over the camel cord, and you end up with that. Now take this end, round the back once more, and feed it up through this hole here. Now all we need to do is cinch down this loop in the black cord. So if you grab a hold of this end with this hand, you're just going to want to pull out the black cord there you'll see that loop is tightening up and basically trapping this end piece. Cinch that down nice and tight like that and that should be, let's see if I can get the light on here, what you end up with. So you basically coil over and you've trapped this end inside this coil and now if you cinch that down nice and tight that should slide freely on the camel cord. There you have it. And you just obviously need to snip this end off and singe it down so it's a little neater than that. Leave yourself a little bit extra to make that, that easy to do. You want to get that as nice and tight as possible. So you've got a really secure fastening onto the camel cord there. So you can see I've made one knot here with the camel onto the black and one knot here with the black onto the camel. So effectively you have a sliding, sliding loop there. And you can adjust that as needed. Just uh, yeah, pretty pretty useful. And uh, one use for this obviously is to make a like a lanyard loop, which I've done here. So I have just a hook on the end here, two cords, uh, make two opposing uh, sliding knots as I just showed you, and you have a fully adjustable loop around your neck or onto your gear or whatever. So there you have it, nice and easily adjustable. But yet, yeah, takes a good tug to get it to move. Pretty strong, and uh, yeah, all sorts of uses for this. So there you are, I hope that's fairly simple to follow. Um, I'm not going to go through the instructions again, just go back to the beginning and start over. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer and solve any issues you're having. And uh, as always, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.